Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. When you need to refund a customer, there are two ways to record it in QuickBooks. Let's go over how to issue a refund if you used QuickBooks payments to charge your customer, and then go over how to issue a refund for any other kind of payment. Note that this is for refunds only. If you want to give someone credit that they can use on a future purchase, you should use a credit memo. And there's a link to that video over here. If you used QuickBooks Payments to process a payment from your customer, go to the sale you recorded. If it's an invoice, select the link to the payment. Then select More, Refund. Note, if it's a sales receipt, just select More and Refund right from the sales receipt. Select Yes, Refund Payment. QuickBooks fills out a refund receipt for you based on the original sale. Confirm the information. Select Save and Send if you want to email it to your customer, or choose another Save option if you don't. Select OK. If you received a payment in any other way, select New, Refund Receipt. If you know the customer's name, enter it here. But you can also leave this blank. Enter when you refunded your customer. Then enter the payment method, which is how you paid the customer back. If you don't see the correct payment method, select Add New. Note that this only records the refund. To pay the customer back, you'll still need to write them a check, or if you use an outside payments processor like Stripe or PayPal, you'll still need to process the refund with them to get the money back to your customer. In the Refund From field, enter the account you used to refund them. This will usually be a bank account. If you wrote them a check, you can enter a handwritten check number or print it later if you want QuickBooks to print it for you. If you need help with that, see the link at the end of this video. Next, enter the product or service you refunded them for, then the dollar amount. If this is a taxable product, QuickBooks will also include sales tax. This refunds the customer for the sales tax you collected and it also reduces your sales tax liability. If you track this product as part of your inventory, QuickBooks will put it back into inventory. If the product is defective and you don't want it in your inventory, then you'll need to do an inventory adjustment. There's a link to show you how to do that at the end of this video. Once you're done, select Save and Send if you want to email it to your customer, or choose another Save option if you don't. Select OK. Later, when the refund clears your bank or credit card, you'll see it in the transaction screen. QuickBooks will match what you've downloaded to the refund receipt you entered earlier. Select Confirm to connect what you recorded to what you downloaded to make sure QuickBooks doesn't count it twice. Now you're ready to record refunds to customers in QuickBooks.